Hello, dear students. Welcome to our lesson. Hope you are okay and ready to study. Let's start our lesson. Don't forget to take a notebook and a pen or a pencil to make notes. In today's lesson, we are going to read a text, learn some new vocabulary, look at some grammar and do a listening task. Today we will talk about different genres of fiction. I would like you to define the word fiction itself. In your notebooks, write your own definition for this word. You can start. Now let's check. Here is a definition given by Cambridge Dictionary. The fiction is the type of a book or a story that is written about imaginary characters and events and not based on real people and facts. Now let's look at the genres of fiction. They are fantasy, horror, drama, romance, science fiction and adventure. Now let's look at some new vocabulary that we will meet in the text. On the screen you can see six new words and their definitions. Let's read the words together. Canal, brass, copper, render, or, and papa. Now match the words to the correct definitions. You can start. Let's check your answers together. Kennel is a small shelter for a dog. Next one, brass is a yellow alloy of copper and zinc. Next one, copper, a red-brown metal, the chemical element of atomic number 29. Word number four, render means provide or give a service, help, etc. Next, or is a pole with a flat blade used to row or steer a boat through the water. And the last word, papa, which means a very poor person. If you have matched more than four words correctly, great. If you have two or three correct answers, well done. Now you have some time to write these words down in your notebooks. Now we are going to read six extracts from different fictions. Your task is to identify which genre is it. Let's start. Number one. The mechanical hound slept but didn't sleep, lived but didn't live, in its gently humming, gently vibrating, softly illuminated kennel back in a dark corner of the firehouse. The dim light of one in the morning, the moonlight from the open sky framed through the great window, touched here and there on the brass and copper and the steel of the faintly trembling beast. What genre of fiction is this? And the correct answer is science fiction. Next one. I was coming home from some place at the end of the world about three o'clock of a black winter morning and my way lay through a part of a town where there was literally nothing to be seen but lamps. Street after street and all the folks asleep street after street, all lighted up as if for a procession and all as empty as a church, till at last I got into that state of mind when a man listens and listens and begins to long for the sight of a policeman. What genre of fiction is used in this extract in your opinion? And the correct answer is horror. Let's continue. 
Mr. Darcy had at first scarcely allowed her to be pretty. He had looked at her without admiration at the ball, and when they next met, he looked at her only to criticize. But no sooner had he made it clear to himself and his friends that she had hardly a good feature in her face. Then he began to find it was rendered uncommonly intelligent by the beautiful expression of her dark eyes. What genre of fiction is used in this extract? And the correct answer is romance. Next one. But it was the cold that was most distressing. I felt that I could survive but a few minutes. People were struggling and floundering in the water about me. I could hear them crying out to one another. And I heard also the sound of oars. Evidently, the strange steamboat had lowered its boats. As the time went by, I marveled that I was still alive. What is this genre of fiction? And the correct answer is adventure. Let's look at the last two. You cannot pass, he said. The orc stood still and a dead silence fell. I am a servant of the secret fire. You cannot pass. The dark fire will not avail you, flame of Odon. Go back to the shadow. You cannot pass. What is this genre of fiction? And the correct answer is fantasy. And the last one. But there is one way in this country in which all men are created equal. There is one human institution that makes Papa the equal of a Rockefeller, the stupid man the equal of an Einstein, and the ignorant man the equal of any college president. But institution, gentlemen, is a court. What genre of fiction is used in the last extract? And the correct answer is drama. If you have marked more than four extracts correctly, great. If you have two or three correct answers, well done. Now let's continue with the listening task. You will hear a recording about science fiction. You will hear the recording twice. While listening, I would like you to complete the following notes with no more than one word for each answer. Now you have some time to look through the notes. Now let's start listening. Science fiction. Science fiction is one of my favorite genres of books and movies. I like the kind of science fiction that shows what the future might look like on Earth. Science fiction movies like Star Wars are okay, but they are full of strange creatures and things we'll never see. I much prefer movies that are on Earth that show all of the inventions of the future. Robot movies are good. I can see how that will come true. I think people like science fiction because it is like a glimpse into the future. Many of the things that were in science movies from many years ago are true today, even simple things like the mobile phone. Fifty years ago that was pure science fiction. Not many people thought we could have a phone in our pocket. Now you will hear the recording for the second time. Check your answers yourself. Science fiction. Science fiction is one of my favorite genres of books and movies. I like the kind of science fiction that shows what the future might look like on Earth. Science fiction movies like Star Wars are okay, but they are full of strange creatures and things we'll never see. I much prefer movies that are on Earth that show all of the inventions of the future. Robot movies are good. I can see how that will come true. I think people like science fiction because it is like a glimpse into the future. Many of the things that were in science movies from many years ago are true today, 
even simple things like the mobile phone. Fifty years ago, that was pure science fiction. Not many people thought we could have a phone in our pocket. Let's check together. Science fiction is one of my favorite genres of books and movies. I like the kind of science fiction that shows what the future might look like on Earth. Science fiction movies, like Star Wars, are okay, but they are full of strange creatures and things we'll never see. I much prefer movies that are on Earth, that show all of the inventions of the future. Robots movies are good. I can see how that will come true. I think people like science fiction because it is like a glimpse into the future. Many of the things that were in science movies from many years ago are true today. Even simple things like the mobile phone. Fifty years ago that was pure science fiction. Not many people thought we could have a phone in our pocket. If you have managed to complete all four gaps correctly, great. If you have two or three correct answers, well done. Now it's time to revise some grammar. Today we will talk about past tenses again. On the screen you can see the formation of past simple tense. Revise it yourself. Here you can see past perfect tense formulas. Now let's go back to the text that we have just read. In the text I would like you to find the examples of past simple and past perfect tenses. You can start. Now let's check together. Had allowed is an example of past perfect tense. Had looked is an example of past perfect tense as well. Met, looked are examples of past simple. Had made is an example of past perfect tense. She had is an example of past simple. If you have found them all, great! So we use past simple to talk about actions in the past. And we use past perfect tense to talk about actions that happened before another actions in the past. Now let's see how it works by doing the following exercise. On the screen you can see three sentences. Your task is to choose the correct tense to complete them. You can start completing. Let's check your answers together. Sentence number one. I had finished my work just before we went to the cinema. Sentence number two. I had played this game few times before. I had offered to play it with my friends. And the last one. He went to hospital after he had felt really bad. If you have completed all three sentences correctly, great. If you have two correct answers, well done. We've had a very good lesson today. We have read the text. We have learned some new vocabulary connected to the topic. We have done a listening task and we have also revised past tenses. This is the end of our lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your great work. Goodbye.